good morning students now the topic is interface python with mysql it means with the help of python coding we can assess dbms it means we can assess sql because in your syllabus there is a python is in your syllabus and the second one is mysql so the connectivity will be mysql and uh, with my uh, python with mysql it means you will type the coding or in python and with the help of that coding you will assess the databases saved in mysql so there are two different uh, way for providing connectivity one is mysql dot connector this is a third party software this is given by oracle okay so whenever we installed mysql connector uh then we can provide the connectivity with the python python and mysql connector the second way if you are not uh, installing mysql connector the second way is a connectivity can be provided with the help of py py stand for python mysql this is a module provided by uh, python तो ये जो फर्स्ट है ये माई एस पी एल मीन और प्रोवाइड किया हुआ है बिकॉज द ऑनर ऑफ द माई एस पी एल इज और सो दिस मड्यूल डिवेल्ड बाय और कंपनी एंड दिस मड्यूल डिवेल्ड बाय पाइथन सो दिस इज योर चॉइस विच वन यू वॉन्ट टू यूज आफ्टर इंस्टॉलिंग माई एस पी एल कनेक्टेड सो टू थिंग्स यू विल हैव टू इंस्टॉल one is my, uh, one is vamp okay server second one is uh, the connector so you can uh, search mysql from internet and then you will have to install, install it now in the programming in the steps are first open your node uh, python file and first com command will be import mysql dot connector okay this is the first command now it means we are using the mysql dot connector module okay in this module there are different functions inbuilt functions the first function is connect okay so first we will create file object connection object this is called connection object clear so it represent the connection is equal to mysql dot connector dot connect connect is the name of the function it is declared inside mysql connector module that is why before the function name we are using mysql dot connector inside the connect we will have to use some named variables named arguments okay so first we will take here post is equal to local host beta a low a host means in which computer your database is saved okay local host means i am saving the uh, i am making the program in uh, my pc and in the same pc my sql is uh, my table my database is saved if it is saved in any another computer then you can give the ip address of that computer okay in place of local host you will have to give the ip address of that computer second one here user by default there is a one user that is called root but if you have a, another user 
in that case take the username okay for using any user in mysql we need password so here password equal to single quotes or double quotes start and single or double quotes close because uh, by default user is root and in password there is no any character set okay there is only empty now next is here the, the fourth named parameter or argument is optional clear if you have created any database in that case you can connect with that with database by using database so these are the four parameters four arguments named argument host equal to local host user equal to root password there is an empty password and database and last one is optional aditya clear yes sir okay <clears throat> now after uh, this is the connection and here f is a connection object okay so here we can also use suppose i am using as it is called identifiers okay so you can give any name like uh, my okay in that case you can use in the place of my sql dot connect you can use my so this is your choice use identifier for the um, my sql dot connector so my now it will represent my sql dot connector clear beta so aap isko ignore the aap isko as we use kar sakte ho so after this command the next command will be cursor okay uh, ishpreet what is cursor sir sir cursor is a tool that can be used to that can be used to find or search the data in the database matlab through usse hum kuch bhi command dekar database se kaam karwa sakte hain no basically meaning beta to main pehle inke meanings clear karta hu aapko sabse pehle humne discuss kiya tha file मैं यहाँ पे साथ में लिख भी रहा हूं इज ए कनेक्शन ऑब्जेक्ट तो कनेक्शन ऑब्जेक्ट क्या होता है बेटा इट कंट्रोल कनेक्शन टू दी डेटाबेस तो हमने जो भी डेटाबेस के साथ कनेक्शन क्रिएट किया हुआ है इसको कंट्रोल करता है कनेक्शन ऑब्जेक्ट हियर एफ एफ इज ए कनेक्शन ऑब्जेक्ट क्लियर सो इट रिप्रेजेंट द यूनिक सेशन क्योंकि जब आप उसके साथ कनेक्ट होते हैं तो यू यू आर क्रिएटिंग ए सेशन ओके तो इट रिप्रेजेंट ए यूनिक सेशन सेशन मीन्स एक टाइम पीरियड जहां पे आप डाटा मूव कर रहे हो फ्रॉम वन साइड टू अनदर साइड यू आर यूजिंग द डाटा बेस्ड विद डाटा बेस कनेक्टेड From within the script, ठीक है विद ऑफ स्क्रिप्ट जो आपने कनेक्शन बनाया है एक सेशन क्रिएट किया है उसको प्रिवेंट करेगा नोट डाउन दिस मीनिंग कनेक्शन ऑब्जेक्ट इट कंट्रोल कनेक्शन टू दाटा बेस इट रिप्रेजेंट द यूनिक सेशन विद डेटा बेस कनेक्टेड फ्रॉम विद इन द स्क्रिप्ट नाउ नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वन इज कर्सर ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस database cursor with a by default uh, when we connect to the any database and you are getting the data from the table in one go all the data is received now we are concerned with the fetching the data row wise okay to so cursor aapke paas ek aisa is a special control so it is a special control 
structure that precipitate the row by row processing of records in the record set in the result set now uh ishmeet what is the result set sir sir jo hame database se mila hai usko ah, result yes, set karenge so result set is a refers to logical set of records which we received from the database okay so now cursor se ek hi cursor ka ek hi benefit hai jab hum data connectivity karenge to we will get the complete data at one go but we are linking with the row wise row means record by record for this we need a special control structure that is called database cursor group clear yes sir okay ab cursor create kaise karte hain to cursor create karne ke liye first koi bhi aap identifier le lo wo maine le liya sur is equal to f f is here connection object dot cursor so cursor is a function okay तो ये क्या करेगा एक कर्सर क्रिएट कर देगा जिसमें सारा डाटा जो मूवमेंट होगी उसमें सेव होगी ओके कंप्लीट मूवमेंट नो इफ आई वांट टू आफ्टर दैट यू विल हैव टू एग्जीक्यूट ए क्वेरी तो क्वेरी कौन सी थी एसक्यूल क्वेरी तो एसक्यूल क्वेरी को कैसे यूज करना है कर्सर नेम डॉट ओके एग्जीक्यूट फंक्शन Insert this. Use any command. For example, my command is let start from. <coughs> so my table is one. Okay, you will implement this, and at the end, you will have to close the connection. For this, f dot close. Now my connection is closed, so I am going to create this program in MySQL. Ah, uh, sorry, in a Python. So in Python, new file. Then I paste the coding. I save the program. in desktop with my name is connectivity c1 connectivity 1 then i execute this uh wait i'm checking uh, there are two packets are there i run the coding <coughs> there is no any error okay but my data is not clear to check whether your connectivity is established or not there is some methods are there to check it so i am going to check the method whether connectivity is there or not so here if you want to check the connectivity the so condition is if f dot f is a connector uh, connection object can is connected is underscore connected is equal to true it means if connection is established print connection okay else print connection fail 
So I am going to run this. So connection okay. But I am not receiving the data. Now who will tell what is the reason? Sir, I think data data हमने प्रिंट नहीं किया सिर्फ अभी डाटा सिर्फ अभी फैच हुआ अभी प्रिंट तो हमने कभी लिखा ही नहीं प्रिंट भी करे अभी फैचिंग ही हुई सिर्फ और सारा डाटा फैच किया उसने तो प्रिंट बेटा तो नाउ एवरी द कंप्लीट डाटा इज रिसीव्ड इन द कर्सर ओके नाउ इन द क्वेरी इज एक्जीक्यूटेड डाटा इज रिसीव्ड इन द कर्सर नाउ वी विल हैव टू गेट द डाटा रिकॉर्ड वाइज फॉर दिस there are some functions these are fetch all fetch all will receive all the records it means all the records we want to uh, get from the cursor from the cursor okay then there is a fetch many fetch many means we will have to define uh, declare here three means three records and fetch one fetch one means it will get only one record okay so we are going to use these out uh, uh, these are the three functions that are used for this so i am using here after I execute the query here declare any identifier like data is equal to sur cursor here dot fetch all it means it is fetching all the records clear and uh, after fetching all the records now we will display one by one with the help of loop for i in data so i me first record aa jayega then second record then third record like this so print i okay so i am using here uh, i am executing this so this is in the shape of tuple first record second record third record fourth record fifth record any doubt in this vanshika it is clear okay now this is a program for displaying the data it means in your project work there will be one module for displaying the complete data you will use this coding okay now i am going to create a, another file save as connection 2 C two. Now here, I will search the record. It means it will. I will not display all the records, but I will display the limited number of records. So here, I insert one. Uh, I am taking one input command here. I am using here one variable x is equal to. Int input enter roll number to be search okay and when you are going to display the data don't display a complete data set here one condition if i 0 it means in i 0 there is row number in r uh, i uh, i 1 there will be marks double equal to that is for comparison equal to x then this way we record So 
record number to be served two the record number two is there so two things we discussed here one is display complete data second one is to display uh, to search a particular record so two programs i will send you to your whatsapp this is for displaying the complete data and second one is searching the data so if you have any doubt raise your hands sir supriya any doubt chetesh no sir okay beta so uh, tomorrow we will continue with the, this uh, we will uh, uh, insert the data in database in table we will uh, update the data and delete the data so many things are there so now we come to the next topic because uh, revision work is also required to hone ek table 2007 in question paper mein se ek table liya tha there are two tables are there dvd and members to so paper mein two tables given honge then there are some statements you will have to create the queries okay according to the statement so first which humne discuss kar bhi li thi and there are still some pending the queries are there but uh, we will uh, uh again uh, discuss these queries the first query is to display all detail from the mem table member in descending order of issuing issue date because students participate in the discussion okay clear so i am uh, please give the answer of the queries yes here is uh, manvia yes beta select star from member order by issue date desc very good very good beta excellent excellent here i am typing the query uh, the query query number 1 select star from here dvd okay Uh, और उन्होंने यहाँ पे हमें डिस्प्ले करना सॉरी मेंबर्स में से है ना तो टेबल नेम इज मेंबर्स टेबल नेम इज मेंबर ओके इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ इश्यू डेट ओके तो मेरी इज लेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम मेंबर्स ऑर्डर बाय इश्यू डेट D E S C. So this is first query. Second query. Display the D code and D title of all for type DVD. Okay. So who will give the answer of this one? participate in the discussion select here i want to display d code so unhone kaha d code or d title display karna hai so d code select d code and d title clear and uh, from name of the table is dvd then after that here is a condition condition is there that the type is d type okay the d type d type equal to in single or double quotes form you say it so this is your second query query number 
third query is to display d type and number of dvd in each d type from the dvd beta wo keh rahe hain ki yahan pe hame d type display ho like uh, classical rock and pop theek hai to saath mein usme kitni dvds hai for example classical mein two dvds hai this is a query in which you will have to divide our table in uh, uh, different segments तो मैंने एक डिस्कस की थी कमांड एक क्लॉज यूज डिस्कस की थी विच वन बेटा ग्रुप बाय ओके क्योंकि वो के, अगर हम यहाँ पे काउंट फंक्शन लगाएंगे तो काउंट फंक्शन विल फाइंड आउट इज एप्लीकेबल ऑन कंप्लीट टेबल इट इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल इट विल नॉट एप्लीकेबल की यहाँ पे डी टाइप में और क्लासिकल ये उसको डिफ्रेंशिएट नहीं करेगा क्लियर तो यहाँ पे हमने क्या करना है नंबर थ्री सिलेक्ट D type and for counting number of DVD, you will have to use this inbuilt function count star from DVD. Now group by yes D type. So the this function, this uh, uh, statement will divide our table into three parts according to the D type. क्लासिकल पॉक एंड रॉक तो हर एक में से नंबर ऑफ डीवीडी डिस्प्ले होंगे पॉक के आगे टू क्लासिकल के आगे टू एंड रॉक के आगे टू और रॉक के आगे फॉर वन सी आई इज क्लियर यस सर ओके सर नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेरी इज क्वेरी नंबर फोर डिस्प्ले ऑल नेम्स and issue date of members to so all names and issue date of members from the table members who has dvd issued in the year 2017 okay beta to so 2017 mein jo dates issue hui hain unki issue date aur name aane chahiye members ke to beta yahan pe ek range ban gayi theek hai so us command will be Number four. Number four. Select name, comma, issue date from table members. Uh, yes. Okay. तो आपने क्या डिस्प्ले करना है जो 2017 बेटा 2017 जनवरी से शुरू हो जाएगा एंड अप टू दिसंबर 31 दिसंबर तो आपने यू विल हैव टू सी दी फॉर्मेट तो वेयर इश्यू डेट बिटवीन अब यू विल हैव टू गिव द डेट इन सिंगल कोर्स और डबल कोर्स 2017 थाउजेंड सेवनटीन मंथ इज जनवरी फर्स्ट जनवरी एंड टू थाउजेंड सेवनटीन ओके मंथ इज ट्वेल्व मीन दिसंबर इन थर्टी वन दिस इज दीट क्वेरी इसमें क्लियर हाँ जी सर ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेरी इज बेटा नाउ देर आर सम क्वेरीज आर गिवन एंड यू विल हैव टू गिव द आंसर सिलेक्ट मिनिम इश्यू डेट फ्रॉम मेंबर्स मिनिमम इश्यू डेट तो मिनिमम इश्यू डेट मींस नॉट ए लेटेस्ट वन ओल्डेस्ट वन तो इसमें ओल्डेस्ट वन है 2016 तो आंसर आएगा इस तरीके से ये देखो मैं यहाँ पे टाइप कर रहा हूं आंसर इस तरीके से आएगा ऊपर लिखा होगा इश्यू डे मिन इश्यू डे इट इज ए कॉलम हेडिंग एंड आफ्टर दैट आंसर आएगा 2016 12 13 
okay 13 december 2016 next question is this nick keyword it is used to remove the duplication so humne d type display karni hai dvd mein se but duplication nahi karni okay so here is second query answer of next query is ye uska to header header hoga then वहां पे डिस्प्ले होगा यहाँ पे पहले आएगा एंड देन ग्रो वेट इज क्लियर आदित्य क्लियर बेटा यस सर तो यहाँ पे क्वेरीज दी हुई है क्वेरीज के आंसर देने हैं नाउ हु विल गिव द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेरी सिलेक्ट डी नेम डी कोड नेम डी टाइटल फ्रॉम डीवीडी डी मेंबर एम वेयर डी डॉट डी डी कोड इज इक्वल टू एम डॉट डी कोड बेटा टेल मी दिस इज ए ज्वाइन इट इज विच टाइप ऑफ ज्वाइन Yes, Ishwini. Sir, join. So, but sir, it's because the name of the mark skip has been lost. Sir, one, two, one, two, sir, simple, natural join was. Sir, one, sir, one, one more was. Sir, that one. Natural join is there. This is equal join. Okay, brother. Equal join. Yes, sir. Equal join. The name of the mark skip was lost. Yes. Okay. So, students, the uh, time is over, and tomorrow we will uh, again. Uh, discuss the data connectivity and discussion of these sql questions and uh, one more thing